king of the week. Kevin Harris. Yeah. He's this week's style king. He's the proud owner of two skate parks in Canada and has been a top freestyle skater for over a decade. Tell us about the Canadian skate scene. Um, it's really happening. I live in Vancouver, which is on the west coast, and a lot of great places to skate. Two indoor parks, three outdoor parks. It's great, great scene. The skate must be kind of hard, though, to skate during the winter months. Yeah, the dog sleds and stuff. I mean, a lot of people think that we have, like, 30 feet of snow all the time, but uh, it's actually a pretty warm climate. We just get a lot of rain in the winter, not too much snow at all. Do you own your own skate park? Yeah, it was always something that we really wanted to do. Um, Joe Meyer and myself, we opened it up and got Lance to come in, Lance Mountain to come in and design a lot of stuff. And it's all uh, multi ramps that all connect together, and uh, anybody can come up and skate it. What do you like doing when you're not skating? Um, I love collecting and, and driving like old 60s muscle car stuff. 60 cars? Yeah, uh, a lot of fun. I got an old 63 vet. It's a lot of fun to drive. I got that in that old Mustang, a 66 Mustang, and an old Buick that I have. Um, I have fun with them, but I usually get other people to do like, the work to get them all in running condition. You're not like the working mechanic? Uh, no, not really. The Looney. Tell me about the Looney. They took away our dollar bill and they gave us this gold coin called the Looney, and uh, it's just a waste of time. It's like having change in your pocket. And um, there's this bird on it that's a northern bird it's called a loon so everybody calls it a loon oh so they call you the rebel <laughs> <laughs> i guess they call me a rebel because i never do nothing uh, uh bad i guess it's like this inside joke kind of thing but uh, <laughs> they call you the ice man is that your other nickname they call me that because i'm from canada and i got like a smooth style when i skate so they call me like uh you know prefer the deferring back to like an ice skater would be yeah Any um, road trip stories? The guy who was organizing everything for us in Spain um, brought us to the airport and uh, we missed our plane by about a half an hour and we had a drive which he thought was about four hours and it took us about ten and all these back gravel roads. By the time we got there we were two hours late for the demo, we were really tired and uh, he was supposed to have us a hotel there. Well it worked out that uh, it was vacation season there and uh, there was no place to stay. And he didn't want to drive us 10 hours all the way back to Madrid, so he stuck us on a train at about 12 o'clock at night, and we slept on the train all the way back. Get back to Madrid, he's supposed to be there to pick us up. He wasn't there. We just wasted like 24 hours of traveling. <laughs> the nightmare road trip. Yeah, it was just crazy. Yeah. <laughs>